Hello everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. I have emails to read. I need to talk to Suvi as well. Where's the way down? Midian, the, the way... Right, okay. That is the point of no return. You seem tired. Yourself too hard. Someone's got to keep me pretty. All right. Okay, so I, I don't know why I keep doing this really because it doesn't really offer anything for Apex mission. I have AVP outstanding apparently, so let's collect all of that. I have two pod points to spend, so let's increase you and you. I just gonna read these emails. Extremely quick thinking for a human. You saw the perfect drop zone just in time. Well, we humans get lucky sometimes. I'm glad to have that kind of luck on my flight deck. <laughs> uh, Tirana from PB. Hey, the gorgeous. I left a little something in your quarters. Nice digs, by the way. Wouldn't mind spending more time there. Hint, hint. You can spend as much time as there you like, PB. The drag. Hey, kid. Do you ever play Fire Breathing Thresher Moors of Doom? Heck of a game. Vetra somehow. Uh. uh Scares me up a copy. Meet me at Vortex and we'll play. Nice. Okay, so hello Ryder. I'm out. Your visit must have shaken things up, hmm? Come on by the Nexus and I'll tell you everything. If you tell me about that random city you found, it'll be nice to see you without bars between us. Excellent, so I've got more stuff to do. That random city got me thinking about my rose garden, preparing the ground, planting for the future, all that. So the Jadan made the Angara. But what's the end goal? Were they part of some grand plan, preparing the ground for something else? I wonder if the Jadan had bigger plans for the cluster and where we'd fit. Good question. Zoe Walsberg. Hi, Kello. I'm trying the new auto address system you suggested. Hope it got your last name right. I wanted to say something. Thank you doesn't cover it. Uh, cover what it means to have someone share the burden. I'm tracking every credit though. Prepare yourself for a windfall later. Oops, don't worry about this rider, I'll take care of it. <laughs> Belief is weird. I don't talk about stuff like this because my mouth's an idiot, but we're in weird space now. The Jadam made a people. Back in the Milky Way we were knocking on the door of stable clones, but that's different. The bits are already there, it's snapped together. So I go down this hole about making life, and then I start thinking about Sam, your dad made a kind of life. This amazing uh, technical achievement that I, that I look at and just, I can't even really get the edges of it. And it's in your head, that's pretty damn special. Like I need another reason to think Pathfinder is something different here. I don't know what the point of, uh, point of this, sometimes you just write, right? Costa. Ket facts. Ryder, I started my thesis on Ket anatomy and thought you would enjoy some of the interesting facts I've discovered. Ket have 332 bones in their body. For comparison, human adults uh, have 206. Ket have no reproductive organs. Similar to Turians and Quarians, Ket are... What? Dig digitigrades whatever the fuck that means. The bone-like armour that covers their bodies are actual bones. The cat have double the amount of taste buds as the average human. Fascinating stuff. Right, I thought you'd like to know we caught Renlon or Lantern Rel as he was going by on Kadara. Your activities caused a panic amongst the other conspirators. It seems we've already caught Oban Keld and Neos Hearn. It's only a matter of time until we persuade them or that scumbag Aiden to give up the others. Well, I say we, I'm writing this from a hospital bed post-surgery. 
holding the dart they yanked out of me. The doctor seemed quite perturbed by it all. Once this medication wears off, I look forward to finding out what actual peace and quiet is like, unless the Arc Pachero authorities need a counter-terrorism consultant, I suppose. You're all right, Van. You're all right. Moving up plans. Ryder, Leon's movie night seems to be catching everyone's interest, especially Drac and PB. There, well, perhaps we should talk. We might uh, head off a medical emergency before it happens. <laughs> all right. Let's go talk with people on the ship first. Not Sue, because I don't want to trigger that mission yet. Pet. Okay, I've got a lot of music there. So, uh, what's this? Go to Tempest Quarters to find PB's gift. Oh, right, I have to actively look for it. Okay. Ah, there we go. A nightcap for you. When you're ready, call and I'll come running. With a surprise. Baby. Baby? I'm ready for my surprise. Ah, uh, I might have to censor this. Hey, yeah. Come, join me. Oh, no, no. You don't give the orders here. Whose surprise is this, anyway? Maybe that's the surprise. Even on your back, you keep me on my toes. Let's reenact how we met. Do you know about... A sorry melding. Our bodies and minds weave together, become one. I've never trusted anyone enough. Never trusted myself. I've got you. Yeah. You're safe with me. Definitely gonna have to censor this. <laughs> Sorry, but you two do not like the hanky pank. I, I can't believe it. It's so quiet. We are one. This is all ours now. I love, I love you. you. Yay! Whatever kept you from saying yes before, I'm glad. I respect it. <clears throat> With strings, it means so much more. This is where I belong. Yay! All right, there we go. We're not going to talk to Suvi yet. Uh, we need to meet Drac at Kadara. Lexi wants to talk about something. It's my night off.
I don't remember approving that. I can break bones just as well as I can mend them, Pathfinder. What are you reading? Harry's latest report on Sarah. She's restless, but on the mend. So you're not really taking the night off? <laughs> Work-life balance has never been my strong suit. You love what you do. Nothing wrong with that. Tell that to my exes. How do you do it? Be both Scott and the Pathfinder. I don't really think about the Pathfinder thing when it comes to friends, family. PB? Sure, I have a responsibility to them, but I don't let it define me or our relationship. Sometimes, just sometimes, real wisdom comes out of that thick skull of yours. <laughs> a compliment? <laughs> I'll take it. Wait. You're psychoanalyzing me. Always. <laughs> Uh, but didn't you want to talk about the movie night thing? I hear Liam's planning to show some vids. If our duties ever give us time. Explains why Drac and PB are distilling something unsavory. Screw up the measurements and bathtub hooch can leave you blind, or worse. We can do better. Better how? An Asari liquor called Acantha. They used to run these wonderful black and white ads. There might be a bottle on the Nexus. It wouldn't be too expensive, I'm sure. Let me know if you find it. Will do. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. Okay, so. Turn that off because we're not doing that one yet. All right, meet Drek at Vortex. That's on bloody... Now, is Vortex on the Nexus or Kadara? I think that's Nexus. Buy a sorry liquor at the Nexus. And I need to. Okay. Back to the Nexus we go. By Meridian Core. Got more systems to investigate as well. Bloody hell. Right, let's head back to Nexus. Here we go. All right, now here we go. All right, okay, yeah. All right, Drac is on the Nexus as well. That's fine. Kill three tasks with one Nexus. Here, let's go buy the liquor. There's a difference between Hello. Hi. Hello. All right, what have we got here? All right, buy that, 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 and that. Oh, 
All right, what do you have? I'll take it all. Why not? All right, we've got that. Now, so now let's go meet Dra. Oh, Carrie, you're here. Oh, you're upstairs. That confused me for a second. Pathfinder, do you have? I do. Hi, Kerry. My arrest was a clerical error. Translation: Our heroic Pathfinder took an interest, and now you're bad PR. Truth hurts. A Pathfinder can handle the dangers out there. For us ordinary people, it's too much. I want to finish the documentary, take a stand for what matters. But what is that? What's best for the initiative? People deserve the truth. Today and a thousand years from now. Let's give it to them. Okay, have your Sam give me everything it recorded in that remnant city. I'll give them raw footage, uncompromising every challenge we need to overcome. Thanks, Ryder, for everything. You're very welcome, Kerry. I think you can actually romance her as well. I don't know if it's a, a proper romance though. It might be like one of those things that just gets blown off at the last minute. Drac, there you are. The others aren't here yet, but it shouldn't be long. The others? Cash and Vorn. If we're gonna teach you Krogan games, we're gonna need more Krogan. Vorn doesn't bug you as much as you pretend he does. Huh. Yeah, don't tell anyone. <laughs> He's smart, real handy with plans, kept the colony alive and going after we left the Nexus. Cash made a good choice there. Not that I had any say in the matter. So, fire breathing thresher maws of doom. Ah, that's right. Pretty basic game. First one Krogan kids usually play. I've seen vids, and I know Thresher Maws are damn huge, but fire breathing Thresher Maws of Doom? That sounds like overkill. You'll see, it's great. Right, so, what are the rules? Kids' game, remember? It's simple. Burn down all the other pieces on the map, you win. I can work with fire. This is gonna be great. Born's bringing root snacks. Corkro's my favorite. I'll load up the mini flamethrowers when the others get here. Well, at least the table is fireproof. I think. Yeah, just don't hit the drinks. Bartender will have a fit. <laughs> Looking good there. Why, thank you. Things are tense around the pub, but not like that first 14 months, thanks to us. I think they raised the drink prices, though. Bastards. One villain at a time, Liam. Priorities, Pathfinder. <laughs> Bastards. Okay. Is there something else I need to do here, or have I done it all now? Nexus. Oh, okay, I've done it all. All right, then. Head back to the Nexus, then. Have our movie night. Go. 
Good shit. Gil's been asking if you can come by. All right. Let's see what Gil wants. Uh, first, actually, it's deliver the alcohol to Lexi. Right, she's not here. I just feel better if we have this kind of main gun. Home's not built for it. The recoil will blow out all our fancy windows. What defense does the ship have? Kinetic barriers to handle space debris, the stealth drive, and us. So, my buddy Jill, who, by the way, can't stop singing your praises wants to have a baby and uh stop me if you've heard this one before she asked me if i'd father it and wow that's huge right what the hell are you going to do i don't know i'm still in the freaking out phase would it be totally crazy if i said yes i don't think it's crazy i mean we're already family i get her she gets me and we support each other unconditionally. Wanting to give someone what they want most in the world is love, Gil. I hear you. And you know I've been thinking about it, Ryder. Becoming a dad. I don't want to just be a donor. Bringing a kid into the world wouldn't be enough for me. I'd want to raise the child with Jill. Sounds like you know what you want. Yeah. It's funny, you can think until you're blue in the face. Sometimes you just gotta trust your gut. I'm very happy for you, Gil. For both of you. Thanks, Ryder. Or should I say, Uncle Pathfinder. <laughs> Uncle Pathfinder. Now, that doesn't... Uh, that one doesn't quite kind of... Uh, doesn't sit well, that one. Uncle Ryder, maybe. More tests? You said... Uh... I know what I said, but your protein levels are on the low side. Doc, I'm missing three lungs. Who gives shit about protein levels? <laughs> I do. Just let her worry about you, old man. One bottle of acantha. Barely opened. It's medicinal, you understand. Cuts down hangovers, which will save PB and Drax some grief. Of course. Thank you, Ryder. Would you ask Liam when we're doing this? I've got a couple of things to finish up. Sure. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. Right. Uh, do I have enough copper? For the N7 arms? No, I do not. I probably can't buy enough copper either, can I? No. Oh well. All right, Liam, we doing this? Hey, Pathfinder. Still passing that mess with Varan and Callan. I made sure the Nexus data will be changed. Kesh is none too happy, but she can blame me. The important thing is we're all alive. I'm all in, and I'm doing things different now. Let's not revisit that, all right? Eyes on the future. Agreed in every way. I'm already making plans. I've arranged a thing on EOS for everyone. It's time I gave back, not just go from crisis to crisis. Sam has the nav points, dress light. All right, excellent. I suppose we should do that first then. So you can fix it? It's just editing a config file. You could probably fix it. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Hmm. Wonder what's going on there. Even as we approach endgame, this game continues to throw more at us. Hmm. 
I mean, fair dues, they did cram a lot of content in here, but a bit too much, if you ask me. Pythias system, home of Eos and Prodromos. All right, we're good. Descent is green. Coordinating, path is calm. Excellent, thank you. something nearby he should be here for it oh right okay uh low down sorry Joel need Liam for this one and while we're here Get everybody leveled up. Oh, you're maxed. What about you, Liam? You're now maxed. Prodromos is suited up and ready to host. Ready for the exchange, Pathfinder. <laughs> Grab your civvies. Going to get hot. How did you do all this? Well, it didn't take much. A ball, flat ground. Hustle would start games at refugee camps. I didn't get it then, but after the attack here and the shit with Varan's rescue, I wanted to try something. Low tech. What do you think? It's good to get people's minds off of all the crap we go through. Not just that. I didn't do it to distract them. We don't get distracted. We go head on. When it's life or death, you have to. No one's living or dying because of this. They're here because they want to be. I didn't get how important that is. Maybe that choice is how we stop being outsiders. Check the play! Free kick for charging! Oh, that's nice. No charge for matchmaking. <laughs> what? We're lucky to have you. <laughs> you better believe it. You too, Ryder. You're a jerk sometimes, but as Pathfinder, this is because of you. Switch up. Ready to get in the game? Yeah. The Pathfinder should make an appearance. Try to keep up, Costa. Don't count on it. I'm complete rubbish. Ah, <laughs> oh, that was nice. All right. Now we've got that out of the way. Now you look like somebody to talk to, but apparently not. All right. What, what else we got? Ascent is go. Leaving Apple. All clear. Right. Uh. Betra wanted you to check in when you can. Uh, to you from yours again, please, PV. <laughs> Oh, PB's down bad. Anytime you like, PB, anytime. 
Well, moving on, it's an idea that picked up speed. Sounds like this will be better, uh, be even better than I planned. Come by, got a thought for one last finishing touch. All right. All right, let's go find Vetra first. She wants to have a chat. I think I could handle it. In your own time, game, Jesus. <laughs> your brain's rattled enough. Go on, one headbutt. We'll keep Lexi on standby. I'm not condoning any of this. <laughs> If you land on the snake's head, you just go to its tail. No strategy. What? All the snakes? <laughs> Snake and all? Decided by dice scroll? Human. You look at this game with their children. Why place a child in this situation when they are the ones who affect an outcome? That's cruel. I didn't say it was a good game. I, I just meant the analogy of... And who decided ladders would only go one way? In what world do ladders only go one way? <sighs> yeah, they don't get it. Hey, Ryder. What are we going to do if Meridian isn't what we expect? What do you mean? What if it isn't where it's supposed to be? Or it doesn't work the way we think it does? Come on, that'd be the fourth time now. Our luck can't be that bad. It's just we never really know what we're going to get with this remnant stuff. I've been going back and forth, glee one second, worry the next. If it sounds too good to be true, it usually is. Learn that the hard way. We still have to try. We still have to hope. You're right. Of course you're right. We didn't give up to the worst of it and we're not going to start now. Whatever happens, let's try to have fun doing it. Haven't we so far? Two galaxies worth. All right. Uh, right. Let's have a random chat with everyone. And see what's what's the deal. What's going down? That Archon barely sees us as sentient. Strings people up like puppets. Didn't know Sam could do that to his Pathfinder. You sure you're okay? Just a lingering bruise or two. My vitals are good. Let's hope that sample he took isn't a problem. Losing another Pathfinder is bad enough. Even with the Krogan safe. Sorry, rambling. Did you need me? No, just went to the chat. See you later, Cora. I'll be here. Uh, who else is here to talk to? No one else here. Gil and Jill are going to have a little one. Not going to talk to Liam just yet. How are you doing, Jal? Hello, Scott. Have you come to see if I'm finally broken? To see what discovering that my people were invented has done to me? This is huge. I'd be flipping tables. <laughs> No. Not upset. What? You normally let your emotions fly. True. Angara are usually very free with our feelings. Not talking about all Angara. I'm talking about you. I'm... numb. I'm... in awe. There's a peace in knowing that... though the universe is beyond your understanding, it doesn't need your understanding to function. That you may even have a hidden destiny. Does it matter? Your people aren't shackled to this new discovery. I agree. We don't owe anything to the Jardin. Our destiny is our own. I'm not broken, Ryder. I'm excited. The Angara were created for a purpose. We were given vaults and golden worlds, all these advanced tools, and there is nothing the Ket can do about it. 
The future holds more for the Angara than a never-ending war on the Ket. Much more. For the Angara? Hell, for all of us. These are amazing, crazy days. <laughs> really crazy. Really amazing. It doesn't matter if we were created by a god, reborn from our ancestors, or exist as the dream of an AI superpower. This discovery changes nothing, except ourselves. And that's everything. Aww. Uh, right, Drek, you got anything to say? It's not like being a created species really means anything. The Angara are the Angara. What matters in the end is that they exist. We can talk more later. Sure. Hmm. Uh, Lexi, anything to add? Need something? Nope. I'll let you get back. I'll be here if you need me. Right, let's check in with Callo. Suvi, that's what the Solarian Ark was worth to our officers? Thousands of lives for maybe a future advantage against the Ket? You're a better person than I, Ryder. I'd have toasted Adin in our thruster exhaust. But at least the dead and their families have some justice. Need anything else? No, we're good. I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. Do I have any more emails? No. Didn't see PB. Let's have a chat with PB. I'm still trying to make sense of everything we learned at the Remnant City. I can't believe the Angara are designed. What are the implications? That there's so much we don't know. It's humbling. Well, I came here for mysteries, right? Helios is more and more interesting every minute. Anything you want to talk about before we head back into it? Are we getting together later? Sure hope so. Nice. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. Okay, now let's go talk to Liam. I say, let's enjoy a few movies. And everyone else says, no, let's have an extravaganza with all the trimmings. You're complaining? No. Well, maybe, because now I need to do it all justice. You got me a decent library, but I heard someone has a director's cut of Last of the Legion. The band version. Remastered. No crappy extras added for the Hannah. And you want me to look for it? It'd be the gold-dusted cherry on your Sunday. In the meantime, I'll get things set. We're more than ready for a night in. Alright, so now I need to go find... It's on Kadara. Of course it bloody is. So essentially what I'm looking for is the legendary uncut version of Blade Runner here. Or even the uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Movie night will probably end this episode, which means the next episode could potentially be the last one. This has been a hell of a journey. I don't even think either of the other Mass Effect games lasted uh, over 60 episodes.
Okay, you're this way. Hello. Got something I think you'll love. I've already bought that. Do you have anything else? No. That'll be all, thanks. Okay, well, at least I uh, didn't have to spend too much time on Kado uh, Kadara. Right, let's get out of here. I don't ever want to come back here again. Don't know how many times I've said that now. But please, never again. Whoosh! Pathfinder, got a minute? What's up, Suvi? Pathfinder, just the person I wanted to see. Meridian, set on a path its creators, disrupted by the scourge, now lost. An unmanned ship is at the mercy of ocean currents. Now, think of Meridian as the ship and the scourge as the ocean. If we can somehow predict the currents and track them, we could figure out where the ocean's taken the ship. That's genius. The scourge is the sea, moving objects around. It's not a precise analogy, of course, but it illustrates the point. Dr. Anwar's suggestion may indeed be our best chance of finding Meridian. The more we know about the scourge, the better we can predict how it affects the things it comes in contact with. We'll need better data. Probes for the scourge and Garen star charts. The initiative made charts of Helios from the Milky Way 600 years back. Perfect baseline. I can compare that to Helios at present. It'll give us numbers, but one set won't be enough. Sam, what exactly do we need right now? Readings from within the Scourge itself, collected by probes planted at key points. Once enough data is collected, we'll need initiative resources for mining and analysis. Once that is done, I can build a predictive model that will recalculate Meridian's path. Well, it sounds like a fine plan. I guess we won't know for sure unless we give it a shot. Everyone's counting on us. Let's bring them home. Okay. The Nexus science team is completely blown away by what you found in the Remnant City. It's a tremendous find, Ryder. The team asked me to pass on their thanks. Tell them they're welcome. I, as Pathfinder, was happy to serve. You know, the discovery of the Angaran origins have made me think hard about creation. If the Jardan were capable of creating life, then what does that say about God? You're wondering if he could be just a scientist? What if our creator is just like the Jardan, advanced but mortal, fallible? Even in that scenario, a higher power could still exist. There could always be something greater. Greater than us. Greater than the Jardan. I had faith before, and I'll keep having faith. Because that's what faith is. Thank you, Ryder. You always know how to make me feel better. I do my best, Suvi. Alright, Liam. I've got Raiders of the Lost Ark, fully restored, uncut. Last of the Legion. This is what you wanted, right? Wait, you actually found it. That version's practically a myth. 
I'll tell everyone to grab food. Jarl and Gil said they can rig something up in your quarters. If you need a minute to clean up, no problem. Just hit the console when you're good to go. Alrighty. Right, let's, let's do it. Movie night. They need you, Jorax. I know you left the Legion. I never left the Legion. It left me. But I know my duty. All right, folks, we can sit through a training montage with what many critics describe as excessive Turian flexing. No such thing. There really <laughs> is. Or we can fast forward to a ship crashing into an asteroid crashing into a moon. Fast forward to the crash. Ah, oh, montage. Don't cut bits off. I'd go for the crash. Forwarding to the action scene, going once, going twice. Skip to the good stuff, Liam. Boo! <laughs> But it's a vacuum. The ship explosion would be silent. I hope that's not the voice of experience talking. Guess they wanted their money to work. <laughs> they actually built the for that shot. Too bad the script wasn't caught in the blast. My strike team will hit the enemy cruiser, General. Force is the only thing fanatics understand. Why a strike team? Torpedo the cruiser! That's overkill. Get one engineer aboard, cut life support and engines, problem solved. And leave them stuck on a hostile ship? One torpedo, over by lunch. For either sensors, spacewalk on the hull, cut life support, repel in, and take them hostage. Done it. Less exciting than it sounds. Seriously? <laughs> got the scars to prove it. I assumed you'd got that falling off a bar stool. <laughs> Speaking of, time for another round. Anyone for a Varen's jaw? Or are you euphemistically delicious? Wait, lesson. Rats. No! Ugh, he was a sidekick. They die like goldfish. No acting like overacting. Even Ryder could do better. If I wanted to. Idiot. Don't make me dare you, dearest. Come on, show us. I'll be dead for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The moments like this is why I love this game. It, it isn't fair. He was so young and... Solarian. He had so much to give. <laughs> Oh, Ryder, I can't feel my, I can't feel my gallbladder. Do, do you even have a gallbladder? Oh no, it's worse than I thought. Oh. <laughs> oh. <sighs> no. Damn you. Damn you all. Of course, you got to have the Planet of the Apes ref reference. Oh, come on. Let's stick with the overacting Turian. I swear to love you a thousand times, a thousand stars. Oh, Jorax, so many years lost. We were so foolish. Our hearts are one. No enemy fleet, no sea of stars can ever separate us again. Ah, this is nice. Well, there we go. That was movie night. And on that note, I'm going to end this episode here. But like I said, moments like that is why I love this game so much, my Mass Effect games in general. They really put an emphasis on 
the characters, the relationship that you have, those characters have, and that's why you end up loving these characters. Even in the weakest entry in the series like Andromeda, and it is, I still love it, but it is the weakest entry. But for now, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigmalator, this has been Mass Effect Andromeda, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.